build a trading platform in C Sharp using Interactive Brokers API Part 9 Cancel Orders. In this video, I will demonstrate how to cancel orders. So, if you had any orders, um, so I'm going to place an order to buy. And if you wanted to cancel that, you just hit this Cancel Last button. I also have one for Cancel All. So, if you had more than one order, so if you had, say, GameStop, and you wanted to cancel that, it would cancel the last one. So the last one I did was GameStop. So I hit the cancel last. Cancel. It cancels the GameStop. Now if I want to cancel all the orders, whether it was you had GameStop, Microsoft, or another order you just hit cancel all and it would cancel all the orders Order this will probably be a short video so if you're interested let's get started okay here we are in visual studio first thing we want to do is create two buttons go to your toolbox and click on button and hold down your control key and then lift off your control key and click again but since I got two buttons already here I'll just delete those and the cancel button here first thing you want to do is give it a name I call it BTN cancel last and the text will be cancel last and you can change the background color to yellow or whatever color you want I changed mine to yellow and the font I changed to bold and 10. Okay, next go to your cancel all button. Uh, change your color to Dodger blue or blue or whatever color you want. And give it a name of BTN cancel all, just like mine. And make sure you change your font to um, bold and 10. And your text will be cancel all. Just like mine. Okay, the next thing you want to do is double click on cancel last. And cancel last, you want to put this um, code in there. Basically, it cancels the last order. It takes the order ID and minuses one to it. Okay, so now go back to your design. And then double click on cancel all. And in here, you want to put um, global request global cancel. And that'll requ uh, and that'll cancel all your orders. Okay, go back to your design. Now I'll give it a try. Go to start. Okay, here we are. And first thing you want to do is connect. And I want to place an order to buy Microsoft. So hit buy and your orders set here now I'm gonna buy some GameStop GME okay so if you want to cancel the last order which is GameStop order you just hit last cancels the last order and if you want to cancel them all, all you have to do is cancel all. So I'm going to put an order for Tesla in here. And just hit cancel all and I'll cancel both orders. Order canceled. Okay, another thing I'm working on is a way to keep track of your orders. And I'm going to have a button here at the end here with the next and it will cancel your order. 
and basically when you cancel an order it needs the last ID or the ID that you place the order with so I'm gonna have the order ID in here and so when I hit X it'll cancel that order so if I have a list of orders I can cancel any one of them but the way I have it here with cancel last it's not the greatest because you can only cancel the last one okay so this is what it would look like so if you had three different orders I have a Microsoft GameStop and Uber order here so if I want to cancel the GameStop order all I do is hit the X here order cancelled and that'll cancel the order and after a few seconds this order will disappear and the way I have it set up here on mine if I hit cancel uber it'll cancel all the uber orders but I only have the one here let's say I had another order place another order So if I hit the cancel Uber here, it'll cancel all Uber orders. And that basically loops through this um, data grid view and picks out all the ones with Uber in it and cancels them all. So just like this. Order cancelled. So they both got cancelled. Okay, that'll probably be in another video on how to do all that. So please stay tuned, please like and subscribe, comment, and see you in the next one. Bye.